Hey, I'm Harry Cock. I'm a realistic AI avatar. I'll be your AI spokesperson for today. Okay, Mr. Harry Cock. I'll take it from here. You won't be narrating any of my videos moving forward. However, I will be showing you how to create him. I started this channel almost a year ago and tested many AI tools. And this is the easiest way to create these realistic AI spokespersons. And guess what? Not only is this the most effortless method out there right now, but it's also absolutely free. Yep, we won't be using DID or HeyGen for this. No, sir. So what can we use these for? Faceless YouTube channels. Yep, faceless YouTube channels of course or use them for business presentations or anything your cold heart desires you can pick many different looking ai spokespersons and with this built-in text-to-speech thingy you can make them say anything you want like this hey i'm anita richard and i lead a support group for people who are always searching for that one special richard it's all about finding mr right or at least Mr. Right Now. You can even change her outfit like this. Hey, I'm Anita Richard, and I run a matchmaking service for the overly particular. You could say I'm in the business of making sure every Anita finds her Richard A. <laughs> hey, it's a niche market. You can even change your voice like this. Hey, I'm Anita Richard, and I lead a support group for people who are always searching for that one special. Richard, it's all about finding Mr. Right? Or at least Mr. Right Now. They even got different AI male spokespersons to choose from like this. Hey, I'm just in time and I'm a last minute event planner. Because nothing says I care like scrambling to put something together at the 11th hour. Although they have a small selection to choose from, it is totally free. So let me show you how to do this. First, you need a video editor called CapCut. But don't worry, you don't need to be a video editor. It's easy to use even if you have yet to edit a video. Just follow along. By the way, CapCut is free. But if you sign up through my link in the description, you'll get seven days of pro features for free. Now, you'll first want to decide which type of videos you want to create. 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is like the video you're watching right now, or 9 by 16 aspect ratio which is like watching a youtube short or tiktok video for this demonstration let's do a 16 by 9 aspect ratio click anywhere on your timeline by the way this is the timeline then click here and select 6 oh wait a minute what the hell oh yeah before we set the aspect ratio you need to add something to the timeline so let's start with adding a background there are many ways to do this you can create an ai image background here or find one here I'll just add this black background for now. Either way, you get the point. However, before we make our AI avatar, we need a script. I got an idea. I saw people turning these AI spokespersons into news anchors. So let's create a breaking news AI spokesperson. Let me first start with a fictional breaking news story that our AI spokesperson can narrate. I'll head over to the chat GPT and have it create this story for us. After all, chat GPT is great at hallucinating false information. <laughs> Okay, okay. So I went over to ChatGPT and started writing nonsense prompts and getting nonsense outputs. But nevertheless, I continued to give it rubbish inputs, expecting it to write a masterpiece for me. After many long days and nights, I finally got one. Actually, it took only about 10 minutes or so. Of course, I had to modify it a bit. Nonetheless, let's roll the clip. In a shocking turn of events that's got the internet in stitches, a man famously known as Dave the Duck has become the newest, most unexpected YouTube sensation overnight. Now, before you ask, no, he's not an actual duck, he just identifies as one. Yes, webbed feet, quacking, the whole nine yards, right in his backyard pond. He has now gone viral, amassing over a million duck-like followers. Meanwhile, I'm hard at work flying under the radar. Maybe I should identify as a duck. Anyways, back to you. AI controversy. <laughs> oh boy. This is what happens when you don't get enough sleep. Anyways, thank you, see more butts. Now, if only we could see more butts. Anyways, let me show you how I crafted this scene. First, we need a news station background. Let's generate one with CapCut's built in AI image generator. Click on AI generated. Then, like any other AI image generator, enter a text prompt. Let's try that again. Not quite. Let's try again. <sighs> Alright, let's add this one to the timeline. Change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. I changed my mind. Let's add this one. We'll need to upscale it. 
Okay, let's add the new upscaled version. I'll delete the rest and scale this up to fit the whole screen. Now, we need to add in a default text. Let's enter our breaking news script here. Now, click on AI characters. This is where we can select which AI spokesperson we want to use. I'll go with him. Click on add. Hmm. So we can't use this feature with text longer than 500 characters. We'll need to break this down into chunks. I'll go here. So we can find out how much characters our script has and break it down into chunks. Looks like we only need to cut out the last sentence. Okay, now I'll add in the last sentence by copy and pasting our AI spokesperson into the timeline. I'll erase the first bit and paste in the last part of the script. While it generates, I'll stretch out the background clip. Now, I'll remove the silence, aka empty space. You'll be able to see where the empty space is by looking at the audio waveform. Click on the timeline to bring your playhead to the beginning of where the empty space starts. I use hotkeys, so I press Ctrl plus B to make a cut. An easy way to remember Ctrl plus B is that B stands for break, which we are breaking apart this section of the video. Delete the empty space, connect the two separated clips back together, repeat this process for all of the empty space. Pro tip, select all of your clips on the timeline by pressing Ctrl plus A to select all or click and hold on the timeline while dragging across the screen till you reach the end. When all clips are selected, move both tracks up one to expose the main timeline. Now, select all of your AI spokesperson video clips and drag and drop them down into the main timeline track. By doing this, when you cut and delete the empty space, the track will snap into place. You need to make sure that you have the main track magnet enabled. Shortcut key is P. Easy way to remember this is P for pull. Rinse and repeat this process until you have removed all of the empty space. I like to think of video editing as easy to a certain extent, like walking. Walking is easy until you need to walk for miles non-stop. Then it becomes difficult. That's the way I look at video editing. It's a time-consuming, tedious process, but it needs to be done. This is by far one of the worst parts of editing, but it's crucial. Once you're done cutting away the silence, select all of your AI spokesperson tracks again and drag them back on top of the background layer. Adjust the scale to your likings, position your AI news anchor to where you want him to be and drag and drop the background onto the main timeline track. Then, Hey, look at that. I could have just searched the stock materials section for newsroom. Oh boy. Anyways, so that was the basics of the AI news anchor. Of, of course, I spiced it up a bit by adding the sound effects and special, special, uh, blah, 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 special effects. I also forgot there are some settings you can use such as turning them into circle talking heads, aka picture overlays to display in your bottom right hand corner of your screen, or you can leave them in full body mode, half body mode, etc. But that's the gist of it get creative and create your own free ai spokespersons turn them into news anchors or online dating experts hell turn them into whatever you want now maybe free realistic human looking ai avatars isn't your thing maybe something like this is if that's the case watch this video here where i show you how to create ai cartoon animations like this until next time ai controversy signing off